I didn't get any videos done this morning. It was quite hectic to get parked and to get all checked in. I didn't do um, the verification when you checked in, but they, they did actually um, go fairly smoothly. It depended on what time you arrived, um, the line pulling in for parking and then checking in at the, um, the booth to get your wristbands. Um, they did have quite a number of um, um, representatives taking temperatures and checking your app and getting you your wristbands. So they did a fairly good job, but um, a little bit later in the morning, I did notice quite a line of people coming in and did, some people did report that there was an accident on the road out here. So there was a delay for some people. Um, we pulled in at 6.30 and had no problem whatsoever. I do apologize that I did not record any of that process, but we were focused on our dogs and getting the dogs ready to show. Um, we did bring, here's our little canine traveler van, and um, you can see over our, our, my shoulder, um, our pop-up tent. Um, no X-Pens, we're just walking dogs, getting them exercise, getting doing some last minute grooming for um, tomorrow. Um, but let me flip the camera around and show you that this parking lot is full. Okay, we are at the far end and parking goes <coughs> all the way around and up and over the hill. Over that hill is where the Lyndhurst Castle is. Um, some more parking right here. And then beyond those trees, uh, you can vaguely see the tents right through here. That is the show rings. Hi everyone. It's the afternoon of uh, Saturday. Um, most of the breed judging is done. I believe maybe all of it is done by now. And dogs are getting ready for groups. Um, I didn't think it was going to be this hard to try to film for you. So I didn't capture too much um, of the show. So I do apologize. I was busy focusing on our dogs for the day and we are back at our hotel room now getting dogs ready for tomorrow. So that's the glamorous life of a dog show handler and um, I will not be able to go to the groups tonight and film any of it for you. We have dogs to get ready um, so I do apologize but you should be able to watch some of that on TV tonight on Box. That's going to be something different for you. Um, so before I wrap up today's segment, which was very short, I apologize. I do want to um, send best wishes from the Canine Chronicle and from um, Phil and I to Wayne Cavanaugh for the loss of his mother. Um, I think she was about 100 years old. Um, Wayne, you have been instrumental in the sport of dogs and um, our thoughts and prayers are with you and your family at this time. Uh, on that note, it's good night for now. See you guys tomorrow.